Hey guys, Happy New Year. It's Jill here and I am super excited about this. I know a few of you have messaged me and wanted a copy of this um, and it just wasn't ready. I wanted to make sure I had it as ready as possible, but here it is. This is my free website audit. Um, it's basically a checklist and it has probably over 250 data points of items that you could be checking on your website. And um, I am going to continually update this. I'm really excited about it. This is basically the template I have been using for about 10 years. I just keep updating it as things change and priorities change. So you're using what I use when I do my client audits. So on the page, you'll see um, just general notes. Which I'm going to go over a little bit of everything. This will be a little bit long, um, but I want to make sure I cover everything that you need to know. So this audit was specifically created for website owners. Um, so bloggers and B2B business owners are probably the best fit and those on WordPress. If you're in e-commerce or if you're um, you know, on a different platform, you can absolutely still use it. I just won't be able to give you advice on how to fix items or um, Sometimes there might be issues with how to audit something because I don't know, you know, what system you're on. Uh, e-commerce, I'm not an e-commerce expert, so I don't feel comfortable. I don't tackle e-commerce audits. Um, I know there's a few nuances to it, which I'm sure I could probably do, but I haven't, so I don't want to give you advice on e-commerce. So... Um, hopefully you'll appreciate my honesty there. Um, doesn't mean you can't use this. You can absolutely use this on e-commerce websites. Just know that there's probably a few other checks you should be doing. How to audit tutorials are going to start porting out next week. So they're just going to go up on YouTube. So I'm going to have a separate section on YouTube uh, just for website audit updates. They'll start going out next week. So you can download the audit now. You can start using it if there's some things you already know. Um, but the actual audit items where I show you how to audit that specific item will start rolling out next week. I am hoping to get to two a week. I do have a full-time job as well. So um, I really can only get these done on the weekends. So be patient with me if I fall a little behind, but I will do my best. Updates to this audit will be as needed, um, and they will probably be pretty often in the beginning as I get feedback and uh, realize you know, how I can improve it. So I do have a version 1.0 up here. And also if you look at the bottom of the sheet, you will also see versions. Version 1.0, launch. If there's changes, I'll note the changes in here so you can see whether it's worth uh, pulling the new version or not. The release of premium features. So I will have a premium version of this audit. Um, you can buy it now for $99. That price will go up once it is officially launched. The premium version is going to have some additional sheets um, or basically templates that you can use for things like finding cannibalization, um, which I'm going to show you how to do that and give you a sheet to help you do that. Um, and then there'll be additional sheets in this workbook for things like international uh, or you know localized SEO and accessibility, which are really important. Um, I'm going to have a private Facebook group where you guys can reach out to me with questions and talk problems out. And there's also going to be a whole collection of how-to videos for fixing audit issues. So when you do find an issue, you'll be able to ac access a private uh, YouTube um, area where you can actually see how to fix that audit issue. So I tried to make this as easy as possible. I was going to do it as a course, um, but I felt like we have enough things to log into every day. So I figured, let me just make a private YouTube channel and you guys can have access to that. And then please be kind and do not share. Um, I, if you love it and want to share it with your friends, that's great. Just send them to my website. Don't share it with them. Um, so just be cognizant, you know, I, I am trying to get the emails so I can send them updates, let them know when new um, features have been added. And then getting started. So when you pull this down, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to file and make a copy. Use this worksheet, just go in order of the tabs. The reason why I put them in this order is because they're basically in order of importance. So the basics, these are the things you just want to make sure that you have all your checks on, you know, is... WordPress secure is, do you have too many plugins? Is Search Console set up? Those kinds of things. Then we go to technical, mobile, on-page content links. So these are, in my opinion, the order that makes the most sense for seeing improvements on your website. So for example, speed, while it's important, improving your speed from 10 seconds to three seconds is not gonna help your SEO efforts. So we're gonna start with the content and then go to the speed. Um, so I did try to put it in some kind of order. Recommended paid tools to use this audit. There's really only two, either Sitebulb or Screaming Frog, and then Arefs. 
I am going to do all of the tutorials with Sightbulb and the reason why I chose Sightbulb is because it is more user friendly and it is a lot cheaper. Um, Screaming Frog is a year long subscription, Sightbulb is monthly, um, so that's why I'm going with Sightbulb. If you have Screaming Frog and know how to use it, you can absolutely do the uh, same things through Screaming Frog. AREFs, you will need to do the backlink analysis, competitor analysis, see how you're doing with keywords. Um, if you can't afford AREFs, let me know and I'll see what we can figure out as uh, an option. Okay, premium website audit. Again, I just went over that. If you do want to buy it, it's not on my site yet. Um, if you are interested in the pre-sale, it is going to be $99, but it will go up after that. And then you can connect with me. This is where you can hook me up and then work with me. Um, these are just the services I offer right now. Um, I do do a video audit, which I love doing those because they're just really easy and they give you something that you can tangibly go and see and view, which is really kind of cool. Um, so I only charge $200 for that. And then a mini website audit, which you'll get something similar to this, and then standard website audit. And then hourly consulting at 125. So if you need me to do things for you, I am here. Um, just know I do have a full-time job. This is just something I do on the side. So it's really only on weekends. Um, hence the turnaround times being a little bit longer. And I only book a couple of extra um, projects a month. So if you are interested, uh, just head over to my website. So these are the tabs, basics. Um, so this is just the basics, WordPress, some benchmarks, um, just to get an idea of where you are now. And then the basics. Google Analytics, things like that. Um, most of the pages are the same. You'll have element details. And if you hover over this, it'll tell you why this matters. Okay. So every one of these has a little bit of information about why you should care about this item. And I think I got every one. If you guys notice I missed any, let me know. And I apologize in advance for any spelling errors. Um, how did you do? This is a column you guys are going to work on. So if Google Analytics is installed and you do have GA4, you're going to go ahead and just mark it as good. Okay, and there's your smiley face. Is it installed only once? No, maybe you have two versions. Uh-oh. All right, so you're just going to go through and check it off. If you see an empty block here, that means you want to add in a value. How many pages are indexed in Google? 3,000. Okay, and how do you find that out? You're going to do site semicolon and you know whatever your website name is dot com and then you could just put that in here okay difficulty to fix so obviously easy medium and hard hard means you um, might need a developer to help you if you're not that skilled easy is anybody should be able to do it and medium is it depends on what your level is of um, skills so hard you know if you have issues with some harder items it might be a little more difficult for you to fix um, but hopefully my training tutorials on the premium side might be able to give you some help there um, uh, this will actually be hidden uh, i forgot to hide that importance so this is the importance of the item um, in relation to um, your website as a whole you know, I was going to do it just as an SEO thing, but there's so many reasons some of these things are important that may not even be SEO related. Like how many plugins are installed? This may not directly affect SEO, but it can affect your site speed. It can affect um, future um, security issues. So these are really, really important items. Is a custom 404 in place? I am a big fan of custom 404 pages because you do want to have something. So just to, so you understand the importance you know, you may not agree a 404 is important as a developer and as a user of websites. I think a 404 is, you know, semi-important. These are the tools you're going to use to audit each. Okay, so if it's a manual review or if I found a freebie tool you can use. And this might be something I update often. Um, do sites use subdomains? So you can see some of them might, you know, AREFs or SEMrush. But most should have um, site bulb or manual review. And then video, this is where I'm going to put the video links when they are ready. So next week, this whole section should be getting filled in. Probably the week after, the, this will come in and then this will come in. Okay, so just keep an eye on the videos because this is where all that action is going to happen. And you can come back to this template whenever you want, the original. Resources, okay, so these are just external links. That gives you more information about that item in case you want to learn for your own. Okay, and I tried to only use authority sites, so you're really getting the right information. And then this is a place for you to put your notes. Okay, and so that's all there is. So you're really going to focus here and here. And then this is extra information. This will be the links to the YouTube videos. 
And these are some of the tool recommendations. Okay, so technical is going to cover crawling, indexing, and then some Google Search Console data. I'll scroll down. Um, page indexing, core web vitals, mobile, just a few checks here, make sure you're mobile friendly. On page, you know, basic SEO stuff, titles, meta descriptions, what's the user experience like, things like this. You guys really have to get outside your comfort zone and be okay with judging yourself harshly. Uh, sometimes we all become too attached to our content and our website to really see things. Um, that was why I wanted to have the Facebook group for the premium version because I want people to really be able to say, hey guys, what do you think of this? Give it to me. And I want it to be a place where you can get constructive criticism um, to really help you. And then optimization. So this is just about content optimization. The content tab is actually about your content. Okay, so this is going to be um, more about the quality and um, how well it compares with your competitors. So if you scroll down, I mean, I really kind of dug into this. This you should be doing different pages for. So you should be looking at several pages of, on your website and asking yourself all these questions and be honest with yourself about whether or not you're really doing a good job of writing your content. Okay, and this is all the links. So backlinks, internal links, external links. Structured data, which is a big one now, and I will be expanding on this over time. This is just a really basic level schema um, analysis. There's a lot more to this, um, which I hope to really dive into deeper at a later date. Speed, this is a big one too. This is probably one of the most complex sections. So this one is gonna take me a while to get through. Is it important? Yes. Is it the most important thing to worry about? No. Why do I know this? Because I work on sites that are, you know, 14 second load times and they're still killing it in the search results. That's why I moved content up here. This is so much more important than your site speed. Some people are gonna say she's totally wrong for saying that, but I see it every day. Um, so this is something I'm 100% certain in, but if it's between you and one other site, you're number two, they're number one, their site speed's two seconds and yours is six, they'll probably get that edge. That's where site speed comes in. Images and videos. Okay, so these are pretty self-explanatory. Then we're going to do some security checks. Make sure your website is secure, which SEO, not really, but it is important for your um, customer, your user. And then this is going to be some fun stuff. Google Search Console, Google Analytics, we're going to run through and see how well you're doing in that. And then this is eat. They added the new E. Um, so just some eat checks you know, from an authority perspective. Um, there's a lot of different thoughts on this. I'm not going to go into that now. And this is the audit. So you can head on over to my website, website audit checklist, big banner at the bottom. You just scroll on down and you can download it from here. I am asking for your email only because I want to be able to send you the audit update. So when every time I add the new video for how to audit something, I'm going to go ahead and send out an audit update. If you want to be on the weekly newsletter as well, go ahead and sign up, but there's no obligation. If you just want to get the audit stuff, I'm fine with that. And let me know your thoughts, guys, whatever I can do to make this better. This is all about you. I really just want to see you guys grow in 2023. Whatever I can do to help, I am here. And um, now go download it and enjoy. And like I said, the videos will be coming next week. So stay tuned. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.